the second type of crutch uh, that is forearm crutch or the elbow crutch. Now let's look at the parts of the elbow crutch. Uh, this is the forearm bend or a forearm cuff. Okay. Then you have the hand piece. Then you have the single upright. And at the bottom you have the rubber fuel. Okay. So uh, this uh, forearm crutch is also called as Lofstad and Canadian um, crutch. Uh, and uh, this for, uh, forearm bend is either made up of the plastic. Here it is made up of a plastic, or it is made up of a metal. And the whole stick uh, you have the hand piece made up of the plastic. The rest uh, single upright made up of metal and the rubber fuel. So these are the parts. Now how the weight transmission occurs? So how you are going to uh, use this uh, elbow crutch? You are going to tie this at the part of the forearm. This is a band which is uh, given along with the uh, forearm cuff. So this is the strap which you are going to tie according to the size of the forearm. Then you are going to hold the hand piece and then as you want to transfer the weight you are going to put the stick in the front and the same way as we have learned in the axillary crutch the weight is going to be transferred from the upper leg to the hand piece to the floor and then the next step okay from the upper leg to the hand piece and to the floor so this is how the weight transmission occurs here also from the upper leg going to the uh, hand piece and then going to the uh, floor okay now for the measurement of the Elbow crutch. Okay. Uh, elbow crutch measurement we are going to take in standing position with shoes on. Okay. So in this position you are going to put the elbow in slight flexion that is 15 degrees of flexion and in this position the first point here is the alar spiral process. Okay. And the second point is going to be uh, 6 inches front and 2 inches lateral to the Somewhere here is the point. So from the inner style process till this point you are going to take the measurement. Here it is 33 and a half inch. That is the measurement for the uh, elbow crutch. Now for the measurement of uh, elbow crutch or the forearm crutch. Patient position supine line with shoes on. We are going to take the measurement for elbow crutch. So first point here. Before taking that point, we are going to position the elbow in 15 degrees of flexion. With this 15 degrees of flexion, the first point is the ulnar stagger process. Okay? And for the second point, we are going to take the measurement from the heel of the shoe, 20 cm lateral. Okay? So, here is the point, 20 cm lateral to the heel of the shoe. Taking the measurement from the ulnar stagger process, to the point which we have marked 20 cm lateral to the heel of the shoes. Here it is coming 35 inches. This is the measurement of elbow crutch in line position with shoes on. So now let's learn about the third type of the crutch. This is called as gutter crutch okay, or forearm support crutch. Uh, now, as I have already in the initial uh, uh, introductory portion, I have told you that why there is a need of such kind of a crutch because the patients who are having a problem of rheumatoid arthritis, there is a condition of joint arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, wherein there are chances of having deformities of the hand and there are going to be extreme pain in the wrist and the hand the joints. So, those patients cannot take the weight or transfer the weight from the upper limb uh, as we have seen in the previous two types of the crutches. So this crutch is specifically made for those type of patients who have the deformities in the hand or have the pain in the hand and the wrist who cannot transfer the weight from the hand. So coming to the parts of the gutter crutch, you have a padded forearm piece. See here, it is padded inside. So this is a padded forearm piece, uh, forearm support uh, piece and then you have the hand piece uh, which can be holded like this and uh, below you have a single upright and then at the bottom you have a rubber curl. Okay, so this upright is also adjustable and here uh, this angle is not adjustable for the hand piece but in certain uh, other crutches uh, they give this adjustability also. 
So, uh, and this is made up of metal, and this upper part of the forearm is this uh, padding. Okay. So, these are the parts of the uh, gutta patch, and uh, basically, it is used for rheumatoid arthritis patients. Now, to take the measurement for the gutta patch, uh, we are going to uh, have the patient in standing position, and in the standing position. Uh, we are going to take the point of the elbow, that is this olecranoid process, okay? So this olecranoid process I have palpated, I am going to put one hand there and the second point which is directly to the floor. So from point of the elbow to the floor, here it is 14 and a half inches. So that is the measurement for the gutter crutch. Now for the measurement of the gutter crutch, uh, patient position spine line with the shoes on. We are going to take the measurement. So, for this measurement, we are going to flex the elbow of the patient and the point of the elbow, that is the olecranoid process, that is the first point here to take the uh, measurement. And the second point here is the point 20 cm lateral to the heel of the shoes, which we have marked here. So, from the point of the elbow to a point 20 cm lateral to the heel of the shoes, here it is coming 43 and a half inches. That is the measurement for a gutter crutch 